Our final shed bash in 1959 takes us back to Birmingham, home of Railway Roundabout and of the Midland Railway's Salt Lake Shed. This was the largest shed in the Birmingham district and was situated a short distance to the east of Birmingham New Street Station, alongside the Midlands' main line to Derby in the north. In 1959, its allocation still included classic Midland designs, such as these 3F and 4F 060s, as well as the most modern motive power. The educational aspect of railway roundabout was not overlooked, and this Hughes Crab 260 mogul was used to illustrate the driver's preparation duties. It was essential for a driver to learn and know every type of engine he would be driving, as he had to ensure that every oiling point was attended to, or else trouble would be just around the corner. Another locomotive was picked out at Saltley to illustrate a feature. This is one of British Railway's standard class 5460s, which had been built with Caprotti valve gear. This rotary action valve gear was the final steam locomotive development of any consequence in Great Britain, and might have become the standard form of gear if steam locomotives had had any further developments. The shed had a number of Stanier's three-cylinder 4605X or Jubilee class engines for mainline work to both Derby and Sheffield in the north and Bristol in the south. The shed itself was a double roundhouse and had both freight and passenger locomotives on its allocation. The Midland had a second Birmingham shed at Bourneville on the other side of New Street, which dealt with local passenger duties and freight. The principal LMS design of heavy freight engine was Sir William Stanier's Class 8F, a number of which were shedded here. For the heaviest duties, BR Standard Class 9F spaceships worked from Saltley. This was the third last steam engine to be built at Crew Works, and numerically of the class, although Swindon was to continue to build them throughout 1959 and into 1960. Saltley's allocation worked through to Carlisle on overnight fast freights via Derby and Sheffield. Two earlier members of the class illustrate the only obvious alterations made to the design, the shape of the tender and the fitment of double chimneys to the last built engines. 